I'm doing good. Uh, I, you know, I, <laughs> I got in a little trouble on Friday, but I, I think it kind of worked itself out <laughs> with this, with this uh, story, story about. Well, Pat, Raw, Pat McAfee saved you. Pat McAfee did save <laughs> me, and a couple other people tweeted and kind of saved me here. But I wanted to kind of run down the story with you because, honestly, they, you know, I've been doing. Obviously, I haven't been doing this long enough. Uh, unlike you, you know, you've been coming wrestling for forty years or so. I. I 50. 50. Okay, you know what? I, I didn't want to date you. <laughs> but I got to say, well, you know. I started, I started very young. You did. And, and uh, listen, influence a lot of us here. Tons, uh, a ton of us covering professional wrestling. But for me, you know, I, I, I don't really do scoops. I don't like to kind of dig in. But sometimes when I know something is happening, it's pretty certain. And, you know, I see things and I'm told things. And obviously you get a lot of this information, too. Friday, I got wind that, or was it Thursday? Uh, Friday or Thursday? I can't remember. It was Thursday. It was Thursday, it was Thursday. yeah. It was Thursday. On Thursday, yeah. I got a message early in the morning saying, hey, have you heard anything about Raw going TV 14? I laughed at it. And I said, I, I don't, I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. And two other people at USA reached out to me. Somebody within WWE reached out to me. And I was like, okay, something's brewing. And then somebody at Fox asked me also. Same, same question. Do you know anything happening about this? And I said, no, absolutely not. So I asked a couple people, and I was told there was a memo that went out. I saw this memo. I saw that they, they said that it's happening on July 18th, which I couldn't believe that soon. And within three yep. hours of me posting what I posted, a retraction went out internally within USA, and they got scolded at sharing information. So, But, but I mean, we know, it's, we know that it's something that's been – discussed and it's something that's probably happening because uh number one i mean first of all obviously the memo tells you that that was the idea at that moment and that the only thing that they're trying to figure out is when to do it and how to explain it to the public and all that but once mcafee said it it's almost like um you know we're acknowledging that it's happening soon so it's happening what that means is the big question but it's clearly happening. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm really, I try to be careful with this stuff. And I, I sent Brian immediately when it was happening. I messaged Brian and I, and I messaged Garrett to, to text you because I couldn't find your phone number. So I'm like, hey, Garrett, can you like send this to Dave, you know? And I don't know if he sent you what I sent him, but I mean, for a memo to say, hey, just to let staff know, July 18th, we're going, you know, we're, yep. we're going to be TV yep, 14. Yep, yep. That's as solidified as possible. Uh, so I, I don't know. Absolute, absolutely. I mean, I, I know I've seen, like, um, inner office memos and everything, and sometimes they change a little bit. But generally speaking, in every case, the basic story always happens. So, you know, it's a question. Somet and sometimes the date's moved. I mean, I've heard about, like, can you know, memos about cancellation of the show. And sometimes it moves, they move the cancellation back or up a month. But it always ends. I mean, I've never had someone tell me, hey, this show's being canceled and it doesn't end up being canceled, so, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Or this, or we're making, making this move. And it always happens. So, yeah. I mean, like, as soon as you, as soon as I heard it was a memo at USA, it was like, okay, it's happening. Just a question of when. Yeah, I, I, it, it was very, very shocking to me that it got, it got kind of messed up in it within a couple hours. But here's the bigger question, right? It's not uh, to me. It's not a matter of them going TV 14. It's a matter of when and what that actually means. Like you said, I don't think this means that they're going to be, you know, blood and. It, you know, actually, the rating is TV. They were going from PGV to TV 14 LV. So this, to me, means the language that they're going to be using is what's changing more well, than anything I, else. I expect, it, I, expect, I expect that there's certain things. Well, I mean, if you watched Raw on Monday, there was a word that was edited out that's, that's uh, on all over. Dynamite probably said far too often, but it's there. And I think it's just what it is. It's just like, look, these other guys are using that word on their TV every single week. And no, no sponsors are cracking down or anything like that. So why don't we? And it's like, okay, let, you know, I think that's really what it is. It's just the response to, hey, some, you know, our competitor is doing it and they're not getting any flack. So we're not going to get any flack either. So or we don't expect to get any flack for it. And why not? Why not? You know, because um, I mean, the thing on Monday's uh, show this past Monday is Brock Lesnar said the word that was bleeped out and it had been agreed to by everyone. Like, you know, the, the WWE's interviews are scripted, and USA sees the script. So everything was cool, and then it was still sound edited. So I think that, I don't know that that is the thing that happened, but it, 
the timing of everything works out perfectly in the sense that they agreed to it. They got squeamish because probably because it says TV, you know, PG and that word was being used. And it's like, uh, you know what? Like, let's just change it. And because again, like, like you said, I don't expect it to be a lot of blood, although, you know, AEW obviously is doing blood too, but I think they don't want to do blood. But I mean, as far as the language, yeah, I think they want to get a little bit more, more risque on the language. I don't think it, it really makes any tangible difference in the product. I mean, you know, I guess you can use the word and get a pop, but you know, it's, it's still the same, you know, same guys and doesn't change the matches and doesn't change the angles very much, but you know, whatever, you know, they, you know, if that's, if they want to do that, I mean, I don't have any issue with it. I mean, it's, it's and I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone does at this stage. I don't think so age. either. No, and I, and you know, they've toyed with this idea a number of times. I mean, a couple, just a couple of years ago when they were doing Raw Underground, they wanted that third hour to be a little bit more adult, and really, they didn't commit to it yes. fully. Uh, that it tends to happen a lot over there, where they, they, they half commit the projects and then pull back. I think we, we kind of know right. why that happens and who decides that. But here, here's my question, yep. right? Uh, you know, the, it, it to me, it's more of the optics of going TV fourteen, right? It's more competitive to a portion of the audience that maybe is a little bit disenfranchised with WWE and the way that things are presented on TV. I think to me, and and we saw, I, I did not think this would be, uh, maybe maybe I was a little bit naive. I didn't think this would get as much traction when I put the tweet out. I, I was like, okay, this is like any other story that I put out. A couple thousand likes on a big story, and that's it. But this had like eighteen that before I deleted it because I didn't want. At that time, I was when I went out, I, I was still trying to piece it together, and I didn't want the July 18th still going out there. So I took the tweet down, and I put out a new one, and I said, hey, listen, this was the situation. Um, but to me, it's an optics thing more than anything else, and that has been a big WWE thing. Whenever I speak to people there, they always bring up the term optics. Like Cody, for example, they were, they were dancing with joy when Cody went over because it was a great optics PR battle for them. So with this, absolutely, this absolutely. kind of puts them on the same scale as what AEW is doing. And it's not that they're going to do what AEW does or, you know, depending on what side you fall on. Maybe they don't even come close if you're very much an AEW fan. But the optics says different for them. And I don't think they're gonna, there's yeah. going to be a big difference. I, I, My personal opinion, I don't think a lot's going to change. Maybe you'll get certain words uh, that are used by certain people. Uh, and outside of that, that's it. I don't think we're going to be getting, you know, we're not going to get a... a, a a death match, a bar wire death match on Raw ever, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think, think we're going to get, I don't, I don't think, I mean, they're already breaking tables every, you know, regularly. So that's, you know, there's, you know, there's that. And you're getting accidental blood all the time anyway. As far as like the on purpose blood, I don't see them doing that. Um, you know, they did it once with Lesnar and Randy Orton, and, and I think that was a big mistake in hindsight. Um, and yeah, so I, I don't expect. I don't know that they think the bloodbath thing works for them anyway, um, but we'll see. I mean, may, you know, it does give them a little bit more leeway. Um, you know, they kind of promise sponsors a tame product, but again, I don't see the sponsors. You know, I don't see their sponsors getting upset over a dirty word in 2022. It's it's a different yeah. world, and they, they don't know, get those like, complaints. Uh, that's a rarity for them yeah, to get a no, complaint. No, no, no one's no one's going to get a complaint. You know, things change all the time. I mean, I, I was thinking about the thing is it's a totally different subject. But for years, they wouldn't touch Matt Riddle. And now they're main eventing him. And it's not like they run away from why they wouldn't touch him, you know, and it's part of his character. And, you know, I mean, for and, and you know, that was like the th we don't even want him in, in uh, dark matches. And we don't even want him in, uh, you know, in tryout matches or yeah. anything. It was like he was a, a he was a definite no for years until, you know, New Japan wanted him. And then it was just, you know, Dave, um, we got to go to break. Yeah. We got to go to break, but stay tuned. We got a second segment coming up, guys. Wrestling Observer Live here on Sports Byline. So the last that the last I got was that that memo was sent out internally to USA staff. Right. That, that far we know from the time that the article went out, the, my, my tweet went out to them, uh, I guess, like a couple hours. They decided that they were not going to do it on Monday. Actually, th first they said in the message they were not doing it. And then there was, I spoke to a couple other people. They said, no, 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 it's just not now. We're not doing it this Monday. So, I, you know, to me, it, it was explained that that memo went out prematurely. Uh, and that term was used by numerous people that I spoke to. So it seems like it was it was in a message somewhere. Uh, th that tweet went, that message memo went out prematurely. And... Um, that was it. 
It should not have gone out at the time that it did, but the answer is that it is going TV 14. That's what USA Network's on board with this. They're ready to do it. Uh, there was a couple other people within WWE that mentioned that, you know, maybe this was, it was alluded. I, and I didn't confirm, but now, Dave, you're, you're here with me. Uh, did you hear anything? Because I was, somebody mentioned to me that this was possibly a Kevin Dunn thing and that Kevin was tired of having to bleep certain words. That I don't know. I thought I, I actually from someone in WWE who thought it was a USA thing, but it also could be that they went to USA and you, you know, USA has to approve it. Yeah, of course. So it could be that, you know. So it's 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 a WWE thing and a USA thing both. I mean, honestly, because it's it, they both have to approve it. If one doesn't want it, it wasn't going to change. So they're both on. So basically, it's a situation where whoever went to whoever first, the other one said okay, and now it's just a question of when we implement it. 